is sodium acetate. How do you get sodium acetate? Well, when you do a vinegar and baking soda reaction, what you have left, once the reaction is finished, is sodium acetate. It's a crystal, and you can do something fun with it that may seem familiar. You make a super-saturated solution of sodium acetate by heating water and dissolving as much as you can, and then when it cools, you can get the crystals to reform. Now, if you did this with sugar, you could make a sugar pop, which we've done before. If you do it with salt, you could make a salt pop, which is less appealing. And if you do it with sodium acetate, you can do this. Just like with the sugar pop, all it needs is a seed crystal to get the crystals to reform. But unlike sugar, which takes a few days, sodium acetate recrystallizes right before your eyes. Because we heated the water, it allowed more crystals to dissolve in it. Ooh. But then it cooled down afterward. There's more crystals sitting around in this water than there should be at this temperature. They want to turn back into crystals, and all they need is something to start them going. I've colored this one green because, I don't know, science. Maybe it'll look cool. A tiny crystal on the end of the stick is all we need to start the reaction happening. Whoa! Wow! And there you go! Sodium acetate! Hmm. That one wasn't done yet.